In the mid-1830s, proposals for a railway from Glasgow running along the gardens to a station at the North Bridge were set out as a prospectus with assurances that the trains would be concealed from view and smoke from them would scarcely be seen. An association of the Prince's Street proprietors who had feuded houses in the street and had spent large sums of money turning the filthy and offensive bog of the Nor Loch into quiet gardens strongly opposed the railway and in late 1836 put forward their case against the Act of Parliament for the railway. The Edinburgh Glasgow Railway opened though on the eight in 1842 with its terminus at Haymarket Station stopping short of Prince's Street. In the railway mania of the 1840s, the railway sought another Act of Parliament allowing access along the gardens and, at the same time, two other railways proposed terminal stations at the Northbridge site. By then, the several of the Prince's Street proprieties were shops or hotels with an interest in development. An agreement was reached in 1844 on the walls and embankments to conceal the Edinburgh Glasgow railway line in a cutting which compensation of almost £2,000 for the proprietors. The North Bridge station was opened on the 22nd of June 1846 by the North British Railway as the terminus for its line from Berwick-upon-Tweed. The Edinburgh-Glasgow Railway's general station opened on the 17th of May 1847 and on the same day as the Canal Street station of the Edinburgh Leaf and New Haven Railway, serving Leaf and Granton via a long rope hauled tunnel under the new town. The collective name Waverley, after the Waverley novels by Sir Walter Scott, was used for the free around, from around 1854, when the through Waverley route to Carlisle was opened. Canal Street Station, was also known as Edinburgh Prince's Street, was not to be confused with the Caledonia Railway Station built at the West End named Prince's Street from 1870. In 1868, the North British Railway acquired the stations from its rivals, demolishing all three and closed the Scotland Street Tunnel to Canal Street. The present Victorian station was built on the site. Along with the tracks of this first station, Hannah, Donald and Wilson built some impressive roofs. The station was extended in the late 19th century and in 1897 the impressive glass dome was added. Waverley had continued been in continual use since under the auspices of North British, LNER, British Railways, Rail Track and latterly Network Rail. From its opening to its current form by the eastward tunnelled extension from Haymarket, Waverley has been the principal railway station in Edinburgh and from 1870 to 18, 1965 the city had a second major station, Prince's Street, operated by the rival Caledonia Railway, but this was never important as Edinburgh Waverley. British Rail brought railway electrification in 1991 with electric trains on the East Coast Main Line to Glasgow Central and via York to London King's Cross. The station's large size and its unusual topography with its surroundings mean that it is contained in a large amount of valuable centrally located land. The station's successive owners, British Rail, Railtrack and now its current owner Network Rail, have been criticised for underusing the valuable city centre spaces available within. There have been a legal covenant preventing any upward extension which would obstruct the view from Arthur's seat on Prince's Street. The elevated walkway linking the Waverley steps from Prince's Street to Market Street have been upgraded with the recommissioning of the suburban platforms at the south and the provision of additional through platforms to the north to serve the increased proportion of rail traffic. During 2006 and 2007, parts of Waverley were extensively refurbished, including two new through platforms and the electrification of platforms 2 to 18 in preparation for the electric trains of the Airgate to Bath Rail Gate Rail Link and future lines in Scotland to be electrified by the EGIP. From 2010 to 2012, the glazing of the roof of Waverley Station was entirely replaced with a new strengthened clear glass panels, replacing the old 30. 4,000 metre square of mixed services including felt, cloudy wire glass and plastic sheet. Part of the £130 million upgrade, this has been greatly increased the amount of natural light at the station. From 2012 to 2014, improvements included the new set of covered escalators at Waverley Steps leading to Prince's Street, narrowly the, narrowing the huge set of previously open air spaces. <coughs> A widened 
rebuilt entrance from Market Street, a rebuilding of the canopies of the southern suburban line, a restoration of the central space of the ticket hall, and an improvement to access from Carlton Road. Internally, several new lifts and escalators have greatly aided circulation. A new drop-off point to disable parking access was added on the Carlton Road access in 2014. In mid-2016, as part of the Edinburgh to Glasgow Improvement Programme, Platform 12 was extended, and at the same time, the former Motorrail Bay platforms were extended into a former car park and taxi rank to allow Platforms 5 and 6 to be extended to accommodate additional LNER services. Platforms 5 and 6 were brought into use on the 28th of February 2019. Work began in 2020 to repair a corridor for the ticket office to the Eastern Concourse. This will also see the toilets replaced and changing places facilities installed. As the other large railway stations in the Victorian Edwardian era, the railway company constructed a grand hotel beside their station. The North British Hotel, adjacent to the station at the corner of Princess Street and North Bridge on the site of the coachworks, opened in 1902. In 1983, British Rail sold it to the Fort Hotel Group. Fort Hotel closed the station for years to extensively remodel and update what had become something of a faded jewel. When it reopened, it was rechristened the New Balmol Hotel maintaining the initials NB in what was provided to the astute mark in to move despite the hotel being 115 miles from Balmoral Castle. Subsequently, New was dropped the state from the name. The hotel enjoys commanding views over central Edinburgh and is one of the most luxurious expensive hotels in the UK. There is no longer a direct entrance from the station. Waverley Mall is a shopping centre which occupies the space between Edinburgh Waverley and Edinburgh Waverley Bridge as well as Princess Street and the Balmoral Hotel. It's formerly known as Waverley Market, Waverley Shopping Centre and Princess Mall. It opened in 1985 and the mall has benefited from the installation of escalators from the Waverley Steps to Princess Street in 2011. From 1844 to 1938 the site was home to the fruit and vegetable market which gained an iron roof in the 1870s. So we should get started at Edinburgh Waverley with the arrival of 334036 and 334002, terminating with a Scott Rail service from Helensborough Central. Next to depart over on the far side is 800 111, working the 1428 LNER service from London King's Cross to Aberdeen. Next following him is 385032, working the 1429 Scott Rail service to Glasgow Central via Shots. Next to terminate at Edinburgh Waverley with a Scott Rail service of Aberdeen is 43179 and 43148.
down to the tunnels is 174.70, terminating with an empty coach working from Haymarket Depot. Next in to terminate with the Scott Rail Express service of Glasgow Queen Street is 385-102 and 385-021. Next is the car working on the head coach by Tango 83 back to Haymarket Depot is 158.724. Coming out to the darts on the far side is 334-002 and 334-036, working the 1437 Scott Rail service to Helensborough Central. Heading into the tunnels is 158723, working the 1438 Scott Rail service to Perth. Next up to Terminator Edinburgh Waverley is 158723, terminating with a Scott Rail service off Glen Rothfuss with Thornton. Next in to arrive, terminating with a Scott Rail service off Glasgow Central is 385020. And right behind him, terminating with a Scott Rail service off Glasgow Queen Street, is 385109. Platform 16 for the 1449 Scott Rail service to Glenorthus with Thornton. Calling at Haymarket, Edinburgh Gateway, Dalmeny, North Queensferry, Inverkeeping, Rosai, Dunfermline Town, Dunfermline Queen Market. One in, one out now as 17433 arrives to terminate with a Scott Rail service off Glen Rothfuss with Thornton. 385021 and 385102 depart with the 1445 Scott Rail Express service to Glasgow Queen Street via Falkirk High. Service to London 
Next trade out to depart is 17432. Working the 1449 Scott Rail service to Glen Rothers with Thornton via Cowder Beef. Next for Avanti West Coast is 39127. Working the 1452 Avanti West Coast service to London Euston via Birmingham New Street. Next, next in to terminate with a Scott Rail service off of our Brof is 170 415. Platform 6 for the 1500 LER Azuma service to London King's Cross. Calling at Newcastle, Durham, Darlington, Northallerton, York, Doncaster, New York, North East. Next trade in to terminate with a Scott Rail service off of Helensborough Central is 334027. Next trade out to depart is 17433. Working the 1500 Scott Rail service to our growth via Lucas. Pair of arrivals now, and as 43183 and 43138 arrive, ECS off Haymarket Depot under the head code 5 Alpha 78. 33385117 and 385104 arrive. Terminate with a Scott Rail Express service off of Glasgow Central. Next out to depart ECS back to Haymarket Depot under the head code 5 Bravo 28. It's 43148 and 43179. Next out to depart is 334019 and 334023. 
working the 1508 ScotRail service to Helensborough Central. Following that, departed with the 1508 ScotRail service to Glen Rothes with Fawns with via Kakodi is 174.70. Next out to depart is 385104 and 385117 with the 1515 Scott Rail Express service to Glasgow Queen Street via Falkirk High. Platform 9 West for the 1520 Scott Rail service to Dunblane, calling at Haymarket, Edinburgh Park. Falkirk, Grahamston, Camlin, Larbert, Stirling, Ridge of Allen and Dunblane. This train is formed of four coaches. Platform 9 West for the 1520 Scotrail service to Dunblane. Next out over on the far side is 158715 working the 1517 Scott Rail service to Cowden Beef. Next out two departed 385109 departed with the 1520 Scott Rail service to Dunblane. Terminated on the far side with a Scott Rail Platform service off of Glen Rothers with Thornton. It's oh god, it's 17428. Calling at Haymarket, Slateford, Kings Now. Whilst also West terminated with a Scott Rail service off of Dunn Lane, it's 385110. Addywell, Great Falls House, Shorts, Hartwood, Cleland, Carthen, Holy Town, Bells Hill. Addingston, Camberswang and Glasgow Central. This train is formed of three coaches. Platform 11 for the 1526 ScotRail service to Glasgow Central. Departing on the far side with the 1524 ScotRail service to Bathgate is 334027. Whilst on the far side terminating with a Scott Rail service off of Perth is 174.29. Departing next with the 1526 ScotRail service to Glasgow Central via Shots is 385020. to terminate with a Scott Rail service off of Helensborough Central is 334018 and 334022.
finished off this video is 43138 and 43183 working the 1530 Scott Rail uh, Inter-7 City Service to Aberdeen. Thank you so much for watching everyone. If you enjoyed what you saw, click on the two videos here at the end screen. It helps out the channel. Also don't forget to like, comment, subscribe if you uh, are new and got this far. And we'll see you all in the next video folks, wherever that may take us. We'll see you then folks.